Hey guys, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned how to set up Tailwind CSS version 3. And we just checked it here with the H1 title that if uh, it is working uh, fine. So, as we know now that our Tailwind is successfully set up and it is working fine. So, in this video, we are going to learn about the fonts, colors, and alignments. Uh, related to text in uh, Tailwind CSS. Basically, uh, Tailwind has the approach, utility first approach, which is similar to the inline styling of CSS. But instead of using the style attribute and uh, giving some CSS properties and values, we just use classes. So it is a more better and a great feature than the uh, CSS inline styling. So uh, let's just check uh, again if it is working fine. Let me and just uh, change some values here and just background color to blue of 400 opacity. Let's go to the browser and refresh it. And let's see it's not working. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, let's open this file. I have installed uh, an extension live server so we can go live here and just check the changes here. Okay, so it is not working right now because we need uh, because we have installed Tailwind with CLI. So we need to run a command of like npx Tailwind uh, CSS like uh, we should run a watcher so Tailwind CSS dash o to compile the uh, CSS from the source folder to the uh, public folder okay so I'll write the destination folder style dot CSS uh, watch yeah so uh, this will watch all the changes which I'll bring in my HTML docs for example now we have uh, background blue 400 so let's see yeah it is background now it is working fine let me close the terminal the watcher will be running where even if you close the terminal so let's check and start with the uh, text uh, properties in Tailwind CSS let's check about the fonts which is included in Tailwind CSS welcome to Tailwind CSS crash course okay so this is a title and uh, let's just give some styles okay so using Tailwind we can just use class attribute and inside the class attribute use the Tailwind uh, utility classes so for changing its font we can just use font and three fonts are uh, predefined in Tailwind the sans the serif and the mono we can use either of them okay using font sans for the welcome uh, for our title and adding another uh, element like a subtitle learn with div space okay uh, below that adding some paragraphs yeah okay let's save it and uh, view on the browser okay so we have this all you can see that the font is changed uh, Okay, now we can say that it is font uh, sense. Now this is font sense. I think it is the default font for Tailwind CSS. We can change it to like serif and see the and the for uh, class font mono for our uh, subtitle. You can see that this is serif, this is mono, and this is sense font these are the three uh, basic or predefined fonts in Tailwind CSS this was about the font family after that we have the font size we can change the font size uh, to whatever we want and you can see that the Tailwind CSS uh, documentation is huge and it's incredible whatever you search uh, you can find like we want some how information about font size so we can just say font size here and we will get everything about that so you can see that if we want to change the font size we can use this uh, utility class like text xs is for the small size which is 0 0.75 frame almost and and so on so on so we have till text 9xl 
it the font size will be 8 rem and the line height will be about 1 so line height is given to maintain the uh, spacing between the lines as well according to our example we can just add a uh, text um, uh, 3xl for our title we can add 9xl as well which is the largest one but we don't need that i think this is uh, this much big okay so we need just 3xl for our uh, big title and about 2xl or just xl for our uh, subtitle and for paragraph we might need only text uh, lg large but it's like okay so we can say this this is 3xl this is 2x uh, this is xl only and this is the lg large font size so we have all of them here included and uh, beside the font size we have the font weight also we can just make it bold make it thin make it just black okay so let's just check about that font weight we can just come here and search for the font weight yeah everything you need to know about the font weight in Tailwind CSS is in this page font thin is about font weight of 100 and font black is about font weight of 900 so i want my title to be my somehow bold i can use uh, just like font black it is a grand title let's see yeah it is now font black and for our subtitle we can use somehow font semi bold and for our uh, paragraph we can use font like thin or light whatever we want let's see this is the um, black utility this one is the semi bold and this is the thin option so we have all of them here same bold with font weight of 600 and with the thin we have font weight of 100 this was about the font weight and about the uppercase lowercase i mean typecase or the normal or capitalization we also have here you can search inside this like um, case type maybe text transform it may be like that text transform yeah we have the normal case uppercase lowercase and capitalized so if you want our text to be uh, all in uppercase we can use the utility class of uppercase and if you want our uh, subtitle to be in lowercase so we can use the lowercase utility class and if you want to capitalize each word so we can use the utility class of capitalize so let's save it and check it in our browser you can see that all in uppercase all in lowercase and each word is capitalized we can use instead the normal case which is the um, default uh, case as well we don't need to use the normal case but if you are taking the text from the clients or uh, from an input so you you can use this one to just validate your text and that should be in case because some clients might don't care about the capitalization or about the normal case or writing that is why we can use so i will remove this one and remove the lower case as well our grand title uh, I need it to be in uppercase so that's fine okay now we are good to go so this was about the uh, text uh, case type and let's move to colors text colors we can just search here text color and you can see we have uh, tens of uh, text colors here we can just use text transparent if you want to see the background behind the text and text black and white or other colors you can uh, just see the colors here as well the manifestation is just shown okay we have gray we have zinc neutral we have the stunned red orange maybe blue yellow lime green so for example let's change our grand title to red okay we will just give text red dash at the opacity level for example i want it to be 700 okay let's see yeah this is 700 and i want the subtitle to be red of 
500 so we can use that class again here in our subtitle text red of uh, 500 or 400 let's see yeah this is red with 700 level opacity level and this is red with 400 opacity level and we can change uh, the color of our paragraph so we can just use text for example lime or any other color lime of for example 900 this is the last stage i think save and just check it this is lime of 900 let's check another color text dash uh, lime not lime uh, amber like amber 600 or 700 yeah it is okay so this was about the font color and let's move to the text alignment so for text alignment we only have four utility classes which is left center right or justify if you want to just take this text to the center of the page or the uh, container so we can just use text center utility class of Telvin CSS text center and you can see that our text will be in the center and for the bringing a text to the right we can use text right utility class and for justifying we can use this text justify so let's see yeah the subtitle is on the right and the paragraph is justified so this was uh, all about in this video about the fonts about the alignment and the colors in the next video we will learn each and everything about backgrounds and if you like my videos please uh, comment your views below and like the video share and subscribe this channel thank you very much